Hello, welcome to the Tea Cozy Folk vlog for April and we're in the summer house again. Now it's not feeling very summery and it is quite chilly so I've still got my jumper on but I'm determined to be in the summer house because you know we're all shut up in doors all winter and it's just nice to get out isn't it? And today I've got lots to show you. I've got uh, my tea cozy I'm working on at the moment. One that's gonna turn up in the Simply Knitting magazine later on this month, that's a spoiler alert. And I've also got to show you some Terry's Chocolate Orange Cozies and also things I've been working on for fun. You know, cause we've just got through the Easter break, you know, and the little spring bank holiday. And I took some time off and I was doing other crafts and it was really lovely. It really feels like I've had a holiday. So um, I've got those to show you, to show you what I've been working on. So um, yeah, so lots to talk about. So let's start off with the Terry's Chocolate Orange Cozies. And it's April, like I said, and April is known for its April showers. And that's what the Tea Cozy Folk calendar is this month. It's April showers. You know, have you got your calendar? And for April, you knit a Terry's Chocolate Orange cosy look. It's a little cosy that looks like April showers. So the main part is a lovely cloud and then there's a rainbow and a couple of raindrops. So that's April's cosy. So are we all knit yours? Show me, show me, I'd love to see. So we've got a little April one, but also this month, you know, cause not everybody wants to knit all 12. So I'm going to be releasing the individual patterns on the website and I'm going to start this month. And the first one that will be launched will be on the 11th of April and this is January and he's the little owl. So, and he fits a, oh, <laughs> it's not, a, I've covered my Terry's chocolate orange in <laughs> tin foil because when I'm making them, I'm sticking pins in and the pins sometimes go through the tin foil look. So I've recovered it in tin foil. But anyway, this is Terry's chocolate orange owl. So that's him. And also on the 18th of April, I'll be launching the Love Heart one. This one was for February. And you know, it's love inspired, isn't it? For your loved ones. And that little knitting pattern to make this little cozy for a Terry's chocolate orange will be on the website on the 18th of April. So not long to wait for that. But you know, if you if you just want to knit one, just buy the individual pattern. But if you want to knit them all, every one of the patterns, all 12, are in this calendar. And it's a lovely calendar, nice and glossy, because it tells you the date as well as the knitting pattern. So, you know, that's all good, isn't it? This one's a bit of a change from tea cozies. This one is a hot water bottle cover and it's in the shape of a fab lolly. And I thought, I know it's a bit weird because hot water bottles are hot and lollipops are cold, but I kind of, I saw the shape of a hot water bottle and I thought, oh, fab lolly. And I thought, you know, isn't that a lovely message? Look, it says on it, your fab. And I thought, that, you know, that's so nice to give to somebody. So every time they see it, they think, oh, someone thinks I'm fab, you know, or just to keep for yourself, just as a little reminder of, you know, because individually we are all fab. So anyway, so this is the fab hot water bottle cover and it's got a little envelope flap at the back, look, so you can easily get your bottle out, you know, so you can get it out for washing. And, um, and of course, the neck is easy access, or they do it with little buttons, look, because I hate it when they, you know, when they part in the night and then your toes touch the hot bit and it's horrible. Even worse if they touch the cold bit, if the bottle's gone cold and um, easy access to put the water in and out. And um, the lovely sprinkles are embroidered on afterwards. It does take a bit of time, but they just look, Brilliant, don't they? They make it instantly recognisable as a fab lolly. I love fab lollies. So this is the hot water bottle cozy that will be on the website this Thursday. 
So if you're on the website, you will get a little email message saying that it's available to download. But if you're not on the newsletter, I'll put the link down below so you can sign up because you'll want to know when things are being released. And this one's being released this week. Back to tea cozies and it's the Pelican tea cozy. Look, he's got his little wings. Woo, you can flap them. And um, he's got his long neck and his big bill. It's lightly stuffed, not, you know, firm like this. It's just lightly stuffed. And his lovely pink beak. And they'll love his little feet. They're cute. Look, his wings. I've just stitched them at the top and at the front so that they can flap. And they've got this lovely feathery detail at the bottom. And his little, look, he's got little feathers sticking out the back of his head. He's a really cute tea cosy and um, he's a pelican. And he's on the website on the 25th of April. And he's lovely, isn't he? He's quite nice and summery and jolly. I think white tea cosies, they say summer to me. So he's a lovely one. He is full of character, isn't he? Yeah, so if you like pelicans, this is the tea cosy for you. Now, over the Easter holidays, like I said, I've been doing a bit of crafting. And one of the crafting things I've been doing is crocheting some more squares for my blanket that I'm making. And, um, and I just went on um, Ravelry and found a few patterns. And here's one I found. Look at that. Woo, is that a bit spooky? <laughs> Oh, ooh, it's the eye. I really like this one. It does, I do think it looks a bit spooky, but also um, I kind of think it looks a bit, you know, when you go abroad on holiday and they have those eye little souvenirs to bring home and they're supposed to ward off evil spirits. Well, that's what I think this is. It's one of those eyes to ward off, ward off evil spirits. But I've done a few of these in different colours and they're really good. And I found the pattern on Ravelry. Um, I can't remember who it was by, but I'll put a link down below so you can go and make one. But it is really cool, isn't it? And I just think it's really fab. Brilliant. I like that one. I like quirky, you see. I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> but another one I've been making is, look, oh, the Frida Square. I can't remember her surname. Oh, that's really bad. But this is Frida. And, um, oh, this was a, a one of those colour-changing squares. I've never crocheted in colour like this before. So this was a learning curve. But, you know, I think she's turned out quite well. I quite like her. She's nice. She's different. And she's bright. And she'll be warm, won't she? You know, whether people like her or not, it'll put warmth in the blanket. And that's the main thing. That's the main objective. Now, this is another one. Now, this wasn't a knitting pattern, per se. It's, um, it is a knitting pattern, but it's, um, oh, I'm making a mess of this. It's not a pattern. You get the pattern, if you get what I mean. <laughs> On um, YouTube. I found somebody who was showing you how to do the cakes and it wasn't a pattern as in a square it was just I don't know they were I think they were suggesting you make a baby blanket so you know you have a really long bit and then you keep doing the cakes but um, anyway I just put a few stitches on I think um, I think you had to put multiples of six plus four so I put I needed 18 and then I added four. So how many is that? 22. And then I've worked three lots of the cakes and just went around the edge. But you know, <laughs> it's a bit different, a bit quirky and fun. And I like cakes. So I wanted to put some cakes on the blanket, but that's that. I can put a link to the video down below. So if you want to make one, and then Frida as well, I'll put a link to Frida. She was on Ravelry. So I'll put a link to these down below, just in case you want to have a go at making some. But they're nice, aren't they? You know, and they're all different. And when they're all together on a blanket, you know, they'll be nice, unusual. At the moment, I'm working on a tank tea cosy. Now, this is 
a Churchill Mark IV tank from World War II. There's a lady who's knitting lots of tea cozies and other little items for to commemorate D-Day. And she asked me if I'd got a tank. And I did knit a tank years ago, but it was when I was first starting out and I didn't realise I was going to end up um, writing and selling knitting patterns. So I didn't write it down foolishly, but I thought, well, I can remake one. And actually, because I'm, you know, I've got more knowledge now about knitting and how to make things. And I thought, you know, it'll probably be better now than it was back then anyway. So anyway, so I'm making a tank and here it is. So these are the bits at the side and the caterpillar tracks come down and underneath and up again. They're enclosed at the top so you can't see them. And oh, this is the front. Can you tell? <laughs> it, look, it looks pretty much the same either way. But this is the front and a big gun will come out the front. So, you know, I'm not far off done. I've got to do some fancy bits on the sides and the gun and the tracks and then he's done but um but yeah this is the churchill mark IV tank for explosive tea times another thing i wanted to show you that i've been working on during the easter holidays is a little baby cardigan look at that look at the pattern i love the pattern it's really cute and um and it's very easy actually it's really simple but you do have to kind of think about it a little bit to make sure you get the dashes in the right places. But I do think it's really nice. It's got a nice texture. And because at the back, it's created little dimples, which is nice because that'll keep the warmth in. I know a baby being born end of April or May sort of time. So I thought I better get knitting something. So I've started knitting a little cardigan. And the little cardi, because I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, is this one by Precious Baby Knits. And it's a lovely little thing. Look, it comes with a little hat as well. Look, you can, well, they've knitted it in plain or in three colours. So and I thought, well, i go with three colours because babies like colourful things, don't they? They like nice and bright and I thought it'd be nice and cheery. You know, and babies have lots of accidents, don't they? So colours are always good to hide that a bit. A bit of camouflage. So that's what I'm working on at the moment, just for fun. And if I get it finished before the baby's born, I'll show you. And if I, or if the baby's born and I've had to gift it, I'll get a photo. I'll show you. I'll show you how it turns out. And I'll make the little hat as well. I'd like to make little mittens and booties as well. You know, and now I've mastered that textured pattern, I could um, I could put that on the top of little booties pattern, I thought, and some mittens. Be nice if it all matches, won't it? And finally, it's the Simply Knitting spoiler alert. Look away if you don't want to see what it's going to be. Of course you want to see what it's going to be. I'd want to see what it's going to be. It's the yoga teacher tea cosy. And this lady's doing, I don't know what this movement is, but I know there are people that do it because I Googled it and had a look. But um, I'll um, I'll find out what it is. I'll put it down below just for reference. But um, yeah, so this yoga teacher, she's sitting in this position with her, look, with her feet <laughs> around the back of her neck. How do people do this? This is amazing, isn't it? So, and she's sat there, comfortable, chilled out and relaxed. As relaxed as you could be with your legs on your neck. But it's a fun tea cosy. And, um, you know, there's people out there that love yoga. And I bet they know exactly what this position is. And they're striving to do it themselves. But um, I can't do this. No. <laughs> just in case we're wondering <laughs> but she's gonna be in the simply knitting magazine and that'll go into the shops in the uk on the 18th of april so look out for that yeah so you can go down and get yourself a copy unless you subscribe you know you can subscribe and have the magazine sent to you in the post oh it's great and it's nice to have something nice in the post other than bills 
But um, yeah, that's the yoga teacher, Teague Cozy. And I've been knitting a few more things for Simply Knitting. And they're not all tea cozies. I can't tell you anything more than that. But yeah, it's really exciting. I'm doing lots of different things. And yeah, and it's really nice to see them coming together. So um, yeah, so lots more this year in Simply Knitting from Tea Cozy Folk. But that's all for April. I haven't got anything else to show you because we're having a few days off. You know, we've had a few bank holidays, haven't we, as well? So I haven't got anything else to show you, I'm afraid. Oh, it's such a sad when, they, when the vlog comes to an end. Oh, I like chatting to you. But thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, like, share and subscribe to the, my YouTube channel. That would be a great help. That would be really good. And I'll see you next month in the summer house, hopefully with a bit of sunshine. You know, summer's got to be here soon, hasn't it? You know, the clocks have gone forward. We're in British summertime now. We're just waiting on the rays of golden sunshine. And we'll all be set for knitting in the garden. I can't wait. Anyway, I'll see you next time. So take care of yourselves and keep knitting. Bye.